All right, boys, so as the title suggests, we do have some interesting information on the upcoming operation. I'm not going to waste too much time here. If you guys want to go ahead and check out Skinport, be sure to do so using my link in the description below. They're a really great site to use for all of your skin needs, and they have a huge amount of stock on their site. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video. So first of all, I want to say that this is not a 100% confirmed thing. Obviously, nothing is 100% confirmed, and it can change on a day's notice. So we don't really know for sure if an operation is actually going to come, but we do have some very reliable information and a very reliable rumor at the least to go off of. So it started off with his tweets basically talking about some changes in the code that had been happening to CSGO and it looked like some sort of minor ones that kind of related to the operation as a whole and there was some speculation on whether a new operation was going to come because of these code changes or not and we actually did have a quote tweet by Norris, who is a pretty big dude in the CSGO community when it comes to leaks and like information coming out. He's the dude that predicted Danger Zone, and he has a myriad of other things under his belt of just random predictions that he's had over the years, and he's a pretty reliable source when it comes to things like this, and he actually seems very certain on the fact that an operation is coming. This tweet that he made here is very, very obviously hinting at the least towards a new operation. You know, he's, he's being, it seems like he's very certain on this entire thing. So that's what we kind of got from this tweet here from Norse. So if you want to go ahead and read it, it's up on screen right now. I'm not going to read it. I think you guys know how to read. But basically, it looks like possibly a new operation is coming very soon within the next week or so. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens. I wanted to go ahead and give my take on this and also talk about like what's going to happen with the market a little bit if I will be able to give my opinion on that. Stick around for that and let's get into it. Also, if you want to go ahead and read any of these tweets and kind of look at the replies and stuff like that and see if anything has changed over the next few hours, you can do so by checking out the link in the description below. I'm going to have a link to this tweet line here. So anyway, let's talk about what's going to happen with the marketplace. So there's going to be a lot of new skins being introduced into the game via the operation, just like there was with Operation Shattered Web. So there's going to be some changes in relation to what those skins look like. I would not recommend selling anything right now because we aren't 100% certain on anything here. So you do want to be cautious. However, I would probably set aside some stuff that you might want to sell if the operation actually does get released. Obviously, you guys don't have to be like super fast to the operation. It's not like it's going to change rapidly or anything like that. Um, we did see with the last operation when it first came out, there was a huge price margin on stars relating to agents and other things from the battle pass. So if you went ahead and bought some stars, you could actually make a lot of profit on that. So there is sort of a feeling of urgency when a new operation comes out because of that reason. However, that's not really something I would count on and it's sort of a risky thing that I wouldn't really recommend doing off the bat. However, that is something that you could potentially do, but you will have a margin of time to sell your old items and then buy into the new operation and not really lose too much. So what I would recommend is just maybe like look at your inventory, assess it, and figure out what you would sell in the case that an operation actually does release, and then kind of take those items once the operation releases, sell them off, the ones that you decided on beforehand, and then buy into the new operation in whatever capacity you're feeling fit to. In terms of prices dropping on the marketplace, like previous skins dropping in price, the main thing that you want to look for there is just going to be skins from a new operation that look very similar to older skins. So for example, let's take like the op dragon lore for example, if a skin were to be released in the operation that looked very similar to the op dragon lore, or maybe better than the op dragon lore, then the op dragon lore is going to become a little bit of a inferior good to that new good that just came out, and so the op dragon lore would probably see price declines. That's kind of an extreme example, and it's kind of a bad example really, because the op dragon lore is already so expensive that it probably wouldn't even be affected by that, but just for example's sake, if something does look similar to a previous skin, that previous skin is pretty much going to be what's considered an inferior good and therefore would most likely drop in price at least a little bit. Think about it this way. Basically, if you had a much higher quality type of food, you would want to eat that higher quality type of food rather than a lower quality type of food because you're going to get more benefit out of the higher quality type of food. That's what's going to kind of happen with older skins if they are replaced with a superior good via this new operation. So basically what I'm saying here is just be prepared for a new operation just because it does seem like Norris is very certain on this and he is a pretty reliable source over the years. However, don't be absolutely certain because things can change and I don't want to make it seem like this is like a confirmed thing that's going to happen. All I really want to do here is kind of give my take on it, make you aware of the fact that this could potentially be happening in the future and kind of make, try to make some discussion occur on this topic. 
you should absolutely not panic sell. You should absolutely not look to sell a whole bunch of stuff just for raw balance. I mean, liquid balance is nice, but we don't know that this is happening for sure. And like I said, it can change. So just be sure to keep that in mind when you're deciding on this. We don't have like a confirmed date for release. And even though Norse says that it's probably going to happen pretty soon and within the next week or whatever, not a confirmed thing. And it could happen in pretty much like the next month or even a little bit later than that. So you just really should not panic in this situation. I would recommend though, like I said, setting aside some stuff that you might want to sell. So anyway, that's basically going to be my take on this. It's not really a whole big video, obviously. I just wanted to get this information out as quickly as possible so everybody was aware of it. I'm not trying to hype this up. I'm not trying to say that this is a confirmed thing. I'm going to make it very obvious as I can in the thumbnail and title that this is not a confirmed thing, but it's just a possibility. And uh, that's basically all I'm going to be going off of. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you do want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for some investment information on this new operation, if it does happen. And if you want to go ahead and make sure that you like the video to get this out on the YouTube algorithm, be sure to do so. And if you want to go ahead and give your take on this operation potential in the comments below, be sure to do that as well. See you all next time. Peace. Oh, and be sure to check out Skimport as well.